This time I'm here to do a, a, a thread reply to Ron's, Ron Haggerty's uh, Give Me Ten Female Fronted Bands or whatever, uh, whatever. Female Fronted something. I can never remember this shit. I need to write that shit down before I start this. Anyway, I'm going to take it to a little different level. I'm going to take it to where these aren't very well-known bands, if they're, and you should look these bands up, to be honest with you. Um, most of these, I think, are all within the last, I'm going to say, 10-year bands. Most of them within five. Hey there, girl. My cat coming over. So, uh, uh, these are bands I think you should check out, you know, and I will probably put a song or two in, in my description below. I'll just make a playlist and I'll put it below and you guys can go check it out. I've done two videos on female fronted uh, bands a lot, uh, long, many months ago I've done it. I need to do a third because I got many, many more. I'm not even sure if any of this stuff is actually on that, but I, I love female fronted uh, hard rock metal bands, so I'm always researching for those and finding new ones and so on. So now I'm going to show you some stuff and talk about it a little bit because I don't want this video to run 30 minutes, which I could do, but I think I have 12. I couldn't put any back. I threw a bunch back, but I think these bands need to be shown. Uh, the first band is a band out of UK, a very young band, the next uh, two or three years old at this point. They have two EPs out and this is their, oh, this is their second one actually. And the band is called Sister Shotgun. Uh, they're from the UK. Their first one is really good. They got a song called For the Love of Hate. I'm actually going to put that in the playlist because that's my favorite song by them. Good hard rock, modern, good hard rock, modern, modern hard rock. Um, not like that, you know, Paramore sound, hard rock. Um, a little bit of that hair in there, you know, the, the, the guitar playing in there. So definitely a band you should check out. Uh, a little expensive to get these damn things because I have to get them from the UK for EPs. But I got both their EPs and both are really good. The first one just has my favorite song of theirs on there. Next is Pamela Moore. Uh, for, you, for you guys that don't know who Pamela Moore is, Pamela Moore is the singer who did the female voices on Operation Mindcrime. And she did them live in the beginning. Fantastic singer in general. Uh, she had a couple of albums out before that were that were you know more on the softer side of rock, you know. But this is her first like metal style album, and it's on Rat Pack Records. Uh, it's called Resurrect Me. Great album. Very unique vocal on this. Uh, she actually has a new album coming out very soon as well. Again, I'll link it all. Uh, next band is Stitched Up Heart. Uh, this album's called Never Alone. They got a song on here called Finally Free that I absolutely love. Like, I couldn't stop listening to that song when I heard the first seen the video on YouTube the very first time. I must have played that damn thing 40 times in a row. It's so good. Uh, think of them as a more melodic, hard, more melodic metal, ba uh, metal band than uh, in this moment. Very similar vocal does the clean, super clean, cute voice, and then goes into the rough sometimes, you know, the harsh voice sometimes. Uh, but great band. This is their first full length album. They had two EPs before this, and they were very, uh, very Paramore-ish, I guess I could say. They're good, but they're very, they're not the rock metal like this one is. This is what they should be. Uh, another band, this is a little older. I think this is from, not 2010, so it's not that old. Uh, wow, that seemed like a long time ago. Uh, for you guys that like Nightwish with uh, Fleur uh, Janssen in them, uh, Nightwish is the best they've ever been right now. Fleur has an incredible voice. She used to be in a band called After Forever, which is kind of a symphonic sound, but they did some killer, killer songs, um, especially the song called Energize Me. That's so hard rock metal, it's, it's killer. Her scream in the middle of that is um, it's just awesome. Uh, the band she went to after that is called Revamped, Revamp, rather. Um, 
good heavy metal band verging on there's a little bit there's a you know there's a couple uh, uh, death harsh voices in here she does a little bit and there's the, one of the guitar players or one of the band members do it as well uh, you would like them they have two albums out but obviously they're not around anymore because she's a night wish now next is a band I can't remember I think they are Australian I could be wrong uh, but the uh, the band's called Violet Janine. Violet, not violent. Violet Janine, and uh, the album's called Between Red and Blue. Uh, very hard rock, bluesy style. Her voice is killer. Um, I can't compare it to anybody because she kind of has her unique sound. So I'm not going to try to compare her with anything. But. Uh, she does a duet on here with Tony Martin of Black Sabbath fame. That's really good. And she does another duet with Pontius something. I can't remember. So much more, I think, is the song with, uh, with uh, Tony Martin, which is a, a great song. You can find these guys on YouTube, too. Uh, I stumbled across them, and I love them. This CD was fucking hard to find, and it cost a fortune when I did find it, but I found it. Now, this is this singer, her name is Jennifer Haven. Uh, Haven, I don't know how, it's German. But she has one of the most angelic voices I've ever heard. One of my favorite female singers, her and Sharon Denadel from Within Temptation. But the band is called Beyond the Black. And they have two albums out. Uh, basically, none of these are on vinyl um, that I've shown so far. Uh, but killer, killer, symphonic, heavy metal with her sweet, just perfect voice almost over top. There's a little bit of the background harsh voices by a band member as well. But if you like uh, old school um, Within Temptation but with more power, these guys you will love Beyond the Black. Also, tough albums to get because you can only get them out of Germany. This one's called Songs of Love and Death. They have a new one out as well that I, I have. And now this is a band out of Chicago. I think these next two are out of Chicago. Um, a very small band. She started out as a, like a pinup and I came across her and I'm a fan of pinups so I came across her on YouTube I think it was. And then found out she had a band so I went and listened to it. It was very good. It was very uh, very 80s rock style, you know, with the pinup look. It was pretty cool. But then she gave up the pinup stuff and they started, uh, or they, her and her brother of the band members started the band. And the band is called Romantic Rebel. Uh, this is their last EP. The album is actually really good. It was on Pavement Records. Sorry, I'm gonna. But really good, hard, hard rock, gritty. God damn it, I hate when she gets pinup. Hard rock, gritty vocal uh, in that vein of uh, Joan Jett, but with more harshness to it. Um, great, just a great band out of Chicago that I found by accident. And from this band, I discovered this band because they were doing contests, like local uh, contests for Chicago band, like Battle of the Bands. And I discovered this band called Cold Kingdom. And this album, I always forget, is called The Moon and the Fool. This album, I don't know how these guys are bigger than they are. This band is incredible. Her voice is super unique. Um, uh, if, you, if there's a band out of all these, you should check out. It'd be these guys. Modern, very modern, what, 2015 or something like that. Uh, they have, I have a new EP from them too as well. But uh, their song called "Surrender" is kick-ass. The whole album's the whole album's kick-ass. It's an it's EP style, but there's bonus tracks, so it's basically an album. But incredible, incredible band. Uh, I love these guys. This is an album I put on. I cannot stop listening to. Another German uh, metal band called. I don't, I, this is how I say Invinia, Invina, Invinia. I don't know how it said that's how I say it. It's on Massacre Records, and it's called Inner Silence. And this, this is another very unique 
vocal by by the this lead singer in this band that I can't think of her name right now. Um, it has moments of the clean and the harsh, and it's her singing it. Like the one whole song is kind of harsh, and then yeah, but the chorus is clean, and the other way around. So really cool, cool album to have. Uh, they just put out a they had put out a newer album last year. I don't have yet because it's hard to get because it's German release only. So I got to pay ridiculous amounts of money to get it. Uh, but this one's I, I've heard it, but this one's still the better one of the two. Hard to beat debuts, man. Uh, another band I did the other day in my car uh, called Letters Letters from the Fire. Uh, this is my I think autograph version. Yeah, this is my autograph version. Um, the singer is not in the band anymore. They got a new singer, which we haven't heard anything yet, uh, yet of yet. But I love her voice. This album is kind of like an '80s metal Paramore. She sounds that she has that good voice. I like Paramore, the singer's vocals, but I don't like their sound. But uh, this is them on on steroids and sounding kick-ass. Uh, a lot of 80s influence guitaring in this as well, as you listen throughout it. Fantastic band. Another band you should check out, Letters from the Fire. Again, I have an extra copy of this if you guys find it interesting. Uh, this is from, I don't know where this is from, I think this might be from 2004. Yeah, 2004. Uh, they put out two albums that, I'm aware, that I have that I'm aware of, and the band's called Gretchen. Uh, it's a Christian metal band. Christian hard rock band, not really much to the inside, but it's a female fronted singer. Um, it's kind of got a bit of that, I hate saying this word, but a bit of that grunge to it, but it's not, it's, how do I put it? A little, don't take me fully at this, a little sound garden -ish with a female vocal, and she has a really good powerful vocal at times. But uh, I think the big song was called Faded. Yeah, Fading. Uh, but both albums are fantastic. I mean, they look like, you know, don't look like what they sound like. They actually had like a documentary on YouTube that that's how I ran across them by accident. And I, and I loved the songs they were playing in the background. So I wound up buying this one and I loved it so much I bought their second one. Which is kind of cool because it has the clear here. And I think it's called Nail to the Nail? Nails or something like that. But it has like an old school nail, they're Christian, so like an old school, you know, nail that you nail to the cross. Inside the thing is actually pretty cool, little thing. And then lastly is a band out of Brazil or Spain, I can't remember. It's on Inner Wound Records and it, the band's called Vandroia. And uh, the album's called One. She's, uh, she's gorgeous, first of all. But, uh... She has, again, a very clean voice, and there's some dirt, you know, harsh voices with the band member. Uh, they actually have a bad on here, why, why Should We Say Goodbye? It's very 80s uh, power ballad-ish, where it starts off clean. She almost has, don't take this wrong, that Britney Spears um, vocal, uh, not affliction, um, again, on camera, can't think of the word. That Britney Spears sound to her voice where it has that weird ending of words sometimes, but it really works well in this. And these guys are, are progressive heavy metal. They just have one ballad on there um, that's kick ass. It's a kick ass ballad. And that'll probably be the one I'll put in my playlist for you guys. I actually have a, a female playlist, female fronted playlist on my my account, which I put everything everything I come across that I remember to add I put it on there. But this one I'll make specifically for this. So anyway, Ron, there's my 12, because I couldn't take away any of these, that uh, female front of bands that people may not know, should they should know. Um, there are so many bands out there, especially female front of bands. Uh, they didn't get a fair shake in the 80s, um, but they're getting it now, man, and they're coming out in force. Uh, I know, for some reason, a lot of people don't like female front of heavy metal bands, but I do. Um, good music and good vocals, good music and good vocals, so I will take that any day of the week. I don't care if it's female, balls or no balls. A good singer is a good singer. Uh, anyway guys, I'm getting out of here, and I hope you guys check out the playlist and find something you like. 
I mean, there's everything in here. That's that's hard rock to to metal. So you guys want to check that out? There's a beating coming. <laughs> I'll catch y'all later, guys. Talk to you real soon.